Today I am really excited because I am in Mexico for Dia de los Muertos. I'm here in El Centro de Merida. So we are going to walk around, try and find some local food, some, maybe some shows, possibly get my face painted. Each state throughout Mexico has their own unique traditions for this special celebration. And we are gonna find out exactly what they do in the Yucatan. Come with me, let's go find how they celebrate Dia de los Muertos. I was walking through El Centro looking for something to do for Dia de los Muertos and I just found this. So I'm gonna go check it out. Let's go. Alright. I have no idea. It looks like an altar, but I'm not sure. Festival de las Animas, which is Festival of the Souls. And it does look like it's an altar honoring someone. As you can see, they have the pan, the sal, the bread and salt. They have the flowers with a strong smell that does attract the souls of their ancestors. They also have fresh fruits, candles, <laughs> They got some Coca-Cola. <laughs> so this is one of the most important aspects of Dia de los Muertos, which is to have an altar honoring your loved ones. So we can see that here in El Centro. So right now we are headed to Paseo Mantejo. Here they, I, they have told me that there are more vendors and normally there is a parade that starts at the Cementerio General and that is where everyone will be dressed, walking from the cemetery all the way to the end of Paseo Mantejo where there's a stage and normally there's a really cool show. I'm hoping that's what we're gonna see and check out. If not, there's lots of local vendors who will try some really good food. Maybe get my face painted. I'm really hoping for that this year. <laughs> and see what they've got here on Paseo Montejo. Let's go check this out. Noche de Catrinas, which is a celebration during Dia de los Muertos where everyone dresses up and walks from the cemetery all the way to the end of Paseo Manteo. But today there was a really bad V attack at the cemetery, so there will not be any parades or anything because it is now closed. So hopefully next year, but we are still going to walk around and find out what there is here. Maybe some really good food, maybe some different entertainment. So let's go see what there is here. Thank goodness I was walking on Paseo Montejo because I found this really cool historical house that they're doing really cool guided tours tonight. There's a handmade market outside that we're going to see. I'm excited to see this house. It looks beautiful. This is cool. Apparently it's from the 1920s and there was a couple that lived here together in this big, huge mansion. I'm excited to get this tour of this house. Okay, so this place is so cool. The more that I keep walking, the more that I keep finding. It's amazing. 
Okay, hold on, there's a corner, I gotta stop. Okay, let me see. Let's see what... Oh my gosh, guys, we can go upstairs. Okay, this is so cool. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs and see what is up here. I'm hoping we can see the city from up here. I don't know though, we gotta see. This is so cool. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, these stairs are a little scary though. <gasps> okay, I got it. <laughs> wow. It's definitely a party going on down there. That's where we're going next. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, they're a little bit scary. <laughs> All right, this is really high and it's a little scary. Oh well, my, did they really do this back in the 1920s? Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow, this is so incredibly cool. Okay, here, let's check this out. Could you imagine having parties out here? Oh my gosh. This is so grand and beautiful. I should buy a house like this. <laughs> wow. Could you imagine? Hello, everyone. Welcome to my party. Just call me the Great Gatsby. <laughs> wow. I could see myself living here. <laughs> Definitely see this house as mine. Oh my gosh. This is an entertainment dream here. Parties out on the balcony, looking out at Paseo Montejo. Oh yeah, this is style and class at its finest. You can imagine this years ago. sure how I feel about this bedroom though. Definitely not fit for a queen. <laughs> Ugh. So small. Is there even a bathroom in there? Hmm. It's cute, but not what I was looking for. <laughs> So I just finished touring this beautiful house and as I came back down the stairs I realized I missed the guided tour and I saw this entire house by myself. That's okay, I thought it was a lot of fun, it was really cool. I actually liked being by myself and discovering this house, but now it's party time. Let's go check out this awesome handmade market that they've got here. I think there's some food because I can smell something and I'm starving. So let's check this out, let me see, it looks kind of cool show you guys oh yeah these are the types of parties I would have been having if this was my house <laughs> okay this is kind of cool 
cool. Lots of really cool handmade things. So yeah, lots of handmade items, food. Totally what I expected, this is so cool. Got some doggy friends here. So let's see what they are selling here at the market. Ooh, handmade bracelets. Those are cool. I like those. Those are kind of cool. Looks like some plant potters. Quesos frescos. Ooh, that looks delicious. Oh, that one I thought just. More jewelry. Okay, these are beautiful. Hola, buenas noches. ¿Cómo estás? Wow, muy bonita. Oro y platino. So cool. Gracias. Hasta luego. Okay, so they've got these really cool outfits that I just noticed. It's like a dress, it looks like. Or you could get a skirt. I think it's made of like rope or something. I don't know, it's really cool. So nice. Oh, she's got one on. <gasps> wow, so cool. Oh, I like these. So this is a really cool store. Looks like they crochet everything. I think it's called crochet. Please comment down below if you know what they call this. If it's crochet or macrame or whatever it is, I love it and it's so cool. This is really fun. There's a lot of, oh, really cool chairs over here and stools. I love these. I love these types of markets and I will say that since I've been here in Merida, I have seen a lot of these markets and I love coming to them. So I'm so glad I found this here. <laughs> I really would like to try some food or something. I just gotta find something around here. But right now I'm seeing a lot of really cool clothes, jewelry. <gasps> Guys, I think I found somebody doing face painting. <laughs> If they are doing face painting, I'm getting my face painted. <gasps> yes! Okay, let's keep looking because there's a lot of really cool stuff here. There's honey, more dogs. Okay, let's see what else they've got. But I think I might get my face painted. Got the DJ. doing it I'm doing it <laughs> all right all right let me see I think I saw it over here okay but that outfit is so cute almost killed myself okay I think it was here let me see hello buenas tardes ah uh -huh. here 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 she's doing it right here Oh, maybe it's just on her. Should I ask? I think I was wrong. I don't know. We'll see. Woo, I'm hungry and I just found Something that is the local food here called a marquesita. Marquesita, marquesita, I'm sorry, marquesitas. I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna try one of these marquesitas. Okay, let's see. Marquesita, Hola, marquesitas, sí, por favor. Tres marquesitas, pero solo con Nutella. Solo Nutella. Solo Nutella, por favor. Muchísimas gracias. Some 
marquesitas are really popular in Merida. Not only for Dia de los Muertos, they are around all the time, which is good. One thing that you can only find during Dia de los Muertos is pan de muerto, which is bread of the dead. And I will say it is so delicious. We're gonna get some for this special day. Beautiful. Like a waffle. Really good. It tastes like a waffle cone filled with chocolate. I still hear the DJ. I think we're going to go find some more things. So as I keep walking Paseo Monteo, I just, I don't see like a real like Dia de los Muertos event or something going on. There are definitely a lot of people out and about, but I just don't really see like an actual event or anything going on right now. So I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's just not what I expected or what is going on. Um, but it's very weird. There's lots of bars and restaurants open, but other than that, there's not like a whole bunch of actual things going on. So I don't know, we'll see. So as I'm walking to the other end of Paseo Mantejo, I come across this really cool kind of creepy float or something, I'm not sure. But I thought I'd stop and show you this. Kind of interesting. But we're gonna keep walking down and we're gonna see what else there is here because I have not really found anything yet. But I'm gonna keep looking and we're gonna find it. So walking down Paseo Mantejo, there was really nothing going on. Not yet, at least I've not found really anything. So I stopped at this really cool bar called Chotos. Got me a tequila sunrise. So we will see if there is something going on as we continue down. But for now, cheers. I'm gonna enjoy this tequila sunrise. Alright, so I have just reached the other end of Paseo Mantejo. I do hear some music. I see lots of lights and people, so I'm excited. I'm hoping that this is what we've been searching for. Let's go and see what they've got over here. Dios de las Muertos. Okay, so this is the other end of Paseo Montejo. <gasps> I do see something at the end here. I think it's like the light at the end of the tunnel where hopefully we have something for this special day. All right, we found it. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Something that screams Dia de los Muertos. This is the Noche de Catrina, which is the beautiful traditional dance and dress for Dia de los Muertos. I'm so happy that we finally found something that helps us celebrate this special day. We're gonna go and get a closer look. Yucatan is a special state in Mexico with rich history dating back to the Mayans. Dia de los Muertos is referred to as Anan Pixan or food for the dead. They celebrate the souls of their departed. This is anything but a sad celebration. 
the Mexican people are very proud of their traditions and they love to share this beautiful day. I'm happy that we finally found something to celebrate Dia de los Muertos. I'm so excited because I actually found somewhere and someone to do my makeup. I also can rent the outfit so that way I have the whole entire piece for Dia de los Muertos. I'm really hoping that I can find something really cool to put on and the perfect face painting. <laughs> All right, let's go see what the store has for me to rent and I'm gonna pick how I'm gonna get my face painted. Let's go. So in just a minute, I'm going to be able to enter the shop and I'm gonna be able to pick out a complete outfit. Um, they call it Noche de Catrinas. It's an outfit that is a traditional dress here in Mexico for Dia de los Muertos. Normally it's a hat or flowers in the hair along with a beautiful tradition, traditional dress. So we're gonna enter the shop in a minute and go and check out what outfits I can choose from. So here it is, my outfit. Now I'm gonna head next door so that way I can complete the look with my face painting. I'm gonna find the perfect design to match this beautiful dress and sombrero. So I will see you guys over there for my makeup. And now my outfit is complete. My makeup, the dress, the hat. I am completely ready for Dia de los Muertos. We're gonna head downtown and see if there's another event that we can find so that way we can enjoy some more of the festivities and celebrations of this beautiful day. So we started our journey in El Centro de Merida. Ended up heading over to Paseo Monteo because there was not much going on in El Centro. And then when there was really nothing going on on Paseo Monteo, I decided to find someone to do my hair and makeup. Now I am back in El Centro and it looks like there is something going on. So we're going to go across and check out exactly what it is. The party continues for Dia de Muertos. There are some cultural events going on, some traditional dance, people enjoying this lovely celebration here in El Centro. The people are out and about and having lots of fun celebrating Anal Pichan, Dia de Muertos. This is a beautiful celebration here in Mexico. As I was in El Centro, Finishing up the celebrations for this evening, I really wanted some pan de muerto, which is a traditional bread served only during this time in Mexico. It's really good. They have lots of different types of pan de muerto. They have the classic pan de muerto here, which is the bread covered with really delicious sugar. Or they have pan de muerto relleno. Now these can be stuffed either with Nutella, Philadelphia cream cheese, Nutella and Philadelphia cream cheese, or Merida's favorite cheese, queso de bola, which if you like the stinky cheese, that's the one for you. <laughs> but for me, I have a classic pan de muerto and pan de muerto relleno con queso Philadelphia y Nutella. I am really ready to enjoy both of these. Um, however, this year's celebration of Dia de los Muertos 2021 was not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, there was not as much celebration as I thought. There were not as many people and events. Um, could be because of the pandemic still. People are not 
doing all of the events that they normally do. Also remember that I did mention the really bad bee attack at the Cementerio General. So they were unable to do the traditional walk from the cemetery all the way to the end of Paseo Montejo. Um, also, they were limiting the access to the events. You had to purchase tickets and they sold out quickly. So hopefully next year, as everything starts to subside even more, there will be a lot more events, a lot more to see, but we never know where we'll be. So I want to thank you for enjoying this beautiful celebration with me and thanks for coming on this journey.